every single synth uses these controls. And if you don't understand these controls, you'll never be able to make your own sound from scratch or even be able to tweak a preset and make it your own. I've been making synth sounds for over a decade, and this is my best information boiled down into a short video. Now this is an excerpt from one of my courses, the Sound Design Cookbook, which I'll show you how you can get the full course for free at the end of this video. But first, let's talk about the ADSR curve and how this affects every single synthesizer Ever. Now we're on to the sound design part of this course. Sound design is extremely important as a producer because you want to be able to take the sound that's in your head or in your client's head and get it into the DAW. And sound design is one of the best ways to do that. If you know how to open up a synth and get the exact sound you're looking for, that is a skill that is just super, super valuable. There are people that just do that for a living. So this is something that is definitely definitely worth learning how to do, even if it's just to know how to open a preset and make some adjustments so that way you're most of the way there and then you could tweak and get the sound the rest of the way there. This is a very, very valuable skill. So I'm gonna show you how to do everything in a wavetable synthesizer in this section because a wavetable synthesizer is one of the most popular types of synths there are and it's really the fundamentals for where everything else kind of comes off of. Also, if you learn how to do things in a wavetable synthesizer, there's tons of great Wave table synthesizers out there like Serum. A lot of DAWs have one, uh, some built in. And there's even a great, fantastic free synth called Vital, which is a wavetable synthesizer. I'm going to show you how to do all of this. So, first things first, we need to know about the ADSR curve. ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. This is the envelope or volume curve of every single sound ever. Every sound that has ever existed on the planet has to follow the ADSR curve. A stands for attack, that initial attack. A guitar, when you pluck a guitar string, is gonna have a lot of attack to it. But the decay starts to come off pretty quickly. And then there's sustain, where how long the note will sustain out, and then the release is where it drops off. Now, if it's a violin, you can actually control the attack by slowly bringing the bow in, and the attack can actually kind of come out something similar to like this. And drums have a super big attack like this, and then a fast decay, small sustain, and then a massive release. And so everything follows the attack, decay, sustain, release curve, or the ADSR curve. Every single sound has to follow this in one way, shape, or another. Now the really cool part is in synthesizers, you can actually control each individual parameter of this. And let me show you how this works. So right here, I have a couple notes inside of Serum, which is just a wavetable synthesizer, one of the most wavetable, or one of the most popular wavetable synthesizers to date. And when you open up a new preset, this is what it's gonna sound like. It's very, very basic. And right down here, this envelope, this right here is the curve that we're gonna be creating. Remember that attack, decay, sustain, and release that I was talking about earlier? That's all right here. Attack, decay, sustain, and release is all right here. And you can control that from here. And it's the same shapes. Oops, actually, let me um, initialize that preset so it's back to normal. So this is what the sound sounds like right now. Nothing too, <laughs> nothing too great, right? It's very, very basic. But I can control that sound by giving it a little bit of a slower attack. And so I can have that sound sweep into it. So take a look at this. pretty useful. So I can actually create a pluck sound like this, or I can create more of a string swell sound by slowing the attack around. Now, another thing I can do is I have the initial decay. So I, there's my attack. This is my decay here. And I can have my sustain drop it down just a touch, and then my release come off like this. So if I have these notes, and let's just say they're just a tad shorter, so you can actually hear the notes and the tail from each of the notes. Let's say I don't want that long of a release. I don't want it to like tail on for so long. I can actually bring the release in to zero milliseconds and then it'll immediately stop. 
a little bit of a release will make it sound just a little bit more natural. And then I can bring the decay out a little bit. And I want that note to kind of just be there and kind of quickly go away, but with a little bit of trail at the bottom. So I can actually bring the sustain down quite a bit. Or if I bring the sustain up. So for as long as I'm holding the note, it's actually bringing it up here, which is super, super helpful. So every single DAW has some form of ADSR curve. There is an attack, there's a decay, there is a sustain, and there is a release. Everything has to follow that curve. Now, let me show you some chords that I have down here that are in this right here. This is just a different wavetable. We'll get to this here in a second, a different type of sound, but this is just a square. Same thing, attack, decay, sustain, release is set off right basically here in a square. So I kind of want those to swell out a little bit. So I'll bring this, the release up just a touch. So that way, when I'm switching from chord to chord here, there's just a bit of a tail that's going off on each one. So you can kind of hear how it's kind of bringing that out just a touch. I want it to swell in just a touch so it doesn't sound like it's a pluck. It sounds like it's more of just like a swelling chord. And then I want those notes to kind of just decay off just a little bit. So I'm going to adjust the decay here and I'm going to adjust the sustain to really kind of allow that initial attack to come up and then it kind of to drop off like this. Already, I'm making a world of difference. So um, I'm just going to uh, make this sound just a touch better, just so that way I can uh, make a difference here. I'm just gonna add the exact same note here, but just bringing up the voices a little bit. I'll get to that here in, in one of the uh, later videos. And then I'm going to layer it along with the lead that we already made. So we're already off to a bang and start. There was quite a bit of control that we were able to do just from controlling the ADSR curve. Remember that every single sound has to follow that curve, whether it is a drum or a guitar or a synth or a flute or anything else. Something follows that ADSR curve. There is an attack, there is a decay, there is a sustain, and there is a release. Even sometimes drums feel like there's just an attack and then a release, but there still is that curve somewhere along there. So you have to imagine in your mind, what do I want this to sound like? Do I want it to sound like it's softly swelling in? Then I need to drag out the attack. Do I want it to sound like it's super plucky? Then I want to make sure that the attack is very short, so it just initially goes right up. And then I want to make sure that my release and decay and sustain are kind of dropping off, so it sounds just like a pluck, like a plucking noise. Those are the things that you have to think of in your mind as somebody's explaining a sound in their head or if you're trying to get the sound in your head, you want to know what is the shape above all else before we get into anything else. What is the shape of this sound? What is the attack, decay, sustain, and release of this sound? If you learned a lot from this and want to know more, you can get the rest of this course for free using the link in the description. This has helped hundreds and hundreds of people already, and I hope it'll help you too. So get the course while it's still free before I change my mind, and I'll see you over in the members area. Now, as always, go create.